PowerPoint is one of those useful tools. Most people have access to it. Most people know, know how to use it, uh, at least the basics of it. And you know, there's a lot of templates available online. As a designer, I feel it's very important that you are able to create your own templates and uh, create your own designs and, and show your own creativity through the use of PowerPoint uh, for presenting your design ideas. So PowerPoint does have a lot of the same types of tools and functions as InDesign, Photoshop, or Illustrator as far as creating page layouts and backgrounds. So what we're going to do is the first thing we're going to do is we're going to change the page size. Uh, we're going to click on View. We're going to click on Slide Master. Then once we're in Slide Master, we're going to click on the top slide. This helps to make sure that all of the slides in the file change accordingly. Now, uh, what we want to do first is change the page size, uh, mainly because the page size of a typical PowerPoint presentation is that uh, the same proportion of the old computer and TV monitors. And what we'd like to do is put it more into a 16 by 9 or 16 by 10 ratio, which is uh, more suitable for high definition monitors or uh, you know most widescreen televisions or uh, computer screens. So let's go ahead and change this to a uh, 11 by 17, so 17 wide by 11 tall. Make sure we're in landscape mode. Click OK. All right, so that's your first step. Now the next thing we want to do is um, you know, create a custom background, and we could do a lot of things uh, for creating a background. Let's go to background styles, and, and you know, there's a lot of simple things you can do. If you want to just do some faded backgrounds, um, you could go to format background. There are gradients that you can use. Um, you could play with uh, a variety of uh, preset colors and patterns. Um, you could kind of change the direction of them as necessary. Uh, change the number of stops, modify it. Um, you know, you really can make this your own. One of the things I also want to show you how to do is um, how to add a picture as a background. So let's say you're working on a design project and maybe it's a commercial project and you want to incorporate something interesting that's related to a commercial design. Um, well, let's see, we have here a sketch of an interior and it's just a very rough sketch and uh, you could just put that in as is and then create a field um, in here for other images but what I want to show you how to do is just kind of play with this a little we can stretch this image and modify it Oops, you have to go the other way uh, change it from the top and the bottom okay we could change the transparency so that way, again, it really is just a background sketch, and people will barely notice it, but it'll work with, with the design. Uh, we can also go to the picture mode. We could change the brightness and the contrast, you know, depending on what you want to do. We could also change a color, maybe make it like a sepia tone, uh, just a grayscale. You know, uh, if there's a particular color that works with the project you're currently working with. Uh, let's go with the CP tone for this one. We'll click Apply to All and Close. Apply to All just to make sure. All right. Now the next thing I want to do, um, I've added an image. We've changed the page size. Uh, let's uh, quickly go in and add a border. So what we're going to do is from Slide Master, we're going to click on Home. We're going to click on the rectangle icon, or we could also go to Insert and do Smart Shapes and Insert a Rectangle. I know I want to put in a rectangle that is about a half inch away from all sides. Now for this particular one it's going to be 10 by 16. I'm not going to try to eyeball it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, go to format, click on the rectangle, go to format, and then go to size. And now with this size what I want to do is make this 10, the height 10, and then I want to make the width 16. Okay. Then I want the position to be half inch both horizontally and vertically from the upper left corner which will make it half inch all the way around. Click close and then now I can modify this. Um, so again I could uh, just go to format and there's a few things I could do or I could uh, right mouse click go to format shape 
Now for the center field, um, I think I want to keep a solid field, but I'm going to change the color. Let's make it something more in the sepia range. And then I'm going to change the transparency. All right, maybe make it a little darker in that sepia range and change the transparency. So that way I've got this little bit of an outline. I also want to change the line color. Again, we'll go in that same range and keep the line solid, the line style. Uh, I really want to change the point value. Uh, I'm going to go with 12, make it a very large size. Um, also, maybe I want to do a couple of, uh, maybe a little different design. So that we have a common border. All right. Okay, so now what you have is you have a, um, a background, a page size, and a border that's all customized uh, to fit your design presentation. Once you've done this, click Close Master View, and then here's what a slide will look like, and then any new slide you add will have the exact same background. All right, hopefully this was helpful to you, and we will be doing more videos on PowerPoint presentations. Um, adding text, changing background images, changing the design even further to make it more your own.